Hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for Rutek first of all happy independence day to all indian subscribers of my channel it's going harder for me to serve regular videos for you because of my health issues while shooting this video still i am suffering but it's my genuine attempt to deliver the best content to you it's been over one week nothing has made available their beta 3 nothing was 2.0 android 14 developer preview beta build 3 so I flash it, today in this video we are going to discuss some important points like how to install this beta build. We will check out important functions and we will see if it can be used as a daily drivable build. We will see which nothing was functions and features are available in this build. Finally at last I shown what are the major issues of this build and how to downgrade to stable nothing OS. So without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. Before flashing Nothing OS 2.0 developer preview beta 3 build, your device must be on the latest Nothing OS firmware that is 1.5.6 Android 13. First download the Nothing OS developer preview 3 build dated 19 July 2023 and downgrade package named as 19 July 2023. Remember these names to identify which is Nothing OS 2.0 beta 3 package and which is downgrade package. Now create OTNMD folder inside the file manager. Now transfer the Nothing OS Beta 3 package in a OT folder. Don't place the downgrade package now. Keep that file in a PC for further use if you want to downgrade later. Remember both the upgrading to Beta 3 or downgrading to Nothing OS stable version will format your data. So please keep full backup. Now go to dialer type star hash star as 682 hash star hash star. You will get this manual update screen. Here system will automatically detect the beta 3 package. We have to just tap option directly apply OTA from select. You will see the progress bar for flashing new beta 3. Just wait for flashing gets completed. Once done you will get the restart option on the screen or you can manually reboot your device. So we manually rebooted the device and phone booted with the new nothing OS 2.0 and 14 beta 3 boot animation so first boot has completed and phone booted to the new nothing was launcher with new wallpaper now let's first check out the about phone section if you check the about device section still we didn't got the new about phone section like we seen in the old video regarding nothing os 2.0 features if you tap on the android version it's showing this is the android 14 but the easter egg is still old like android 13 because google still didn't finalize their own android 14 easter egg security patch is of latest 5th july 2023 kernel version is 5.4.210 let's first check out what's working in this build so all the basic things like wafa wafa hotspots are working bluetooth is working with the hd audio codex Auto brightness, these things are working without any issues. All the HD, VLT incoming and outgoing calls are working. Call recording feature is available and it's also working. All the sensors are working properly. So let's check out the camera. This beta update didn't come with the nothing OS camera. It has normal Google cam, which is simple one. So I installed the Gcam MGC build. Its link is available under the video description. Surprisingly, this camera is fully working here. All the features like night sight, wide angle camera modes, portrait mode for the both the front selfie and the main camera, HDR mode are working without any issues. For video recording 4K, video recording is working but it still didn't have 60fps option. Time lapse and slow motions are working. Here is a sample for slow motion video recording. Both the photosphere panorama modes are working. So basically Gcam is fully working in this build. Next always on display is also available and it's working. This build comes with some nothing was 2.0 features. Let's check out which are them and they are working properly or not. Some applications are pre-installed like new nothing was launcher 2.0. It has all the features working like new cards like quick access shortcuts under customizations who gets the new nothing was fonts and themes. New folder icon customization is available and it's working. If you want detailed review of these features 
and want to enable these features on any version of nothing OS, please check the video link given under the video description. All new nothing OS 2.0 widgets are available like new rounded and rectangular clock widgets. In the display setting, I got one new feature to tune the display color called as the Q color. These all features gives amazing look to home screen of your device. Who also gets the new weather application of nothing OS 2.0. It's available under the app drawer and it's fully working. So this is a preview of what's working and features available in the new Nothing OS Beta 3. Now let's check out the bugs. This build didn't have the fingerprint and face unlock working. Who gets the setting regarding these under the security option but they are not working. No battery share option is available under the QS panel or under the battery setting. No glyph setting available and glyph is not working. If you install the new Glyph Composer application from the Play Store, still no Glyph lights are working with it. So basically this build is a daily drivable. If we ignore some features like Glyph light, battery share, nothing camera, etc. If you want to downgrade to nothingos 1.5.6, then transfer the downgrade package into the OTA folder. Delete the previous beta 3 package to avoid the conflicts. Now go to the dialer. Again dial star hash star hash 682 hash star hash star. Who gets the same OT update screen that we got during the flashing of beta 3 package. Now just tap on the OT update system will flash the downgrade package. Once done tap reboot to system phone will restart and you will see you are downgraded to nothing was 1.5.6 and 13 stable version. So this is all about the new nothing was beta 3 and 14. Hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video, subscribe to channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.